the question is uh, why you want to vote for uh, uh, Demo Democrat and why you don't want to vote for the Republican. Okay, great. That's a, that's a great question. You know, why, why would I vote one way or the other? I'm, I'm more of an independent thinker. Um, I don't consider myself an independent, although some people do. Uh, some people uh, call me Republican. Some people call me Democrat. I, I like independent thinking. I think uh, what the Republican Party brings is not independent thinking, but just toe the party line and, uh, you know, look at big business. You know, we're still in the trickle-down economics uh, of Reagan, and that's just filtered it apart. Let's make big business rich, and that will make everybody rich. From after the Clinton administration, uh, that hasn't worked. Uh, Clinton administration, we had a uh, zero deficit. Uh, now we have 20, 30 trillion. And there's no end. It's just ridiculous. Uh, deficit spending doesn't work. Uh, you, you should know that by the credit card. Uh, the one thing I like about the Democrats is they're diverse. They're all different type of people. Uh, the United States was born and raised. There, there are no uh, Native Americans other than the Native Americans. So, mm -hmm. so it's nice to have a diverse, diverse culture, and everybody adds to it. And also, the Democrats bring uh, a thought process, a, a cycle of thought. Um, let's let's talk about issues that hurt the majority of the country. How do we help the majority of the country? Infrastructure. We have the worst train in the world. Okay, we need infrastructure. I've been all over the world, and when you I think what I would recommend most people, most Republicans, if you're a MAGA or whatever, go to Hong Kong, go to Mumbai, go to Chennai, <laughs> see the advances that are in these countries that we don't have here. And uh, you, you want to make America great again? Let's have a train that goes 180 miles an hour. How about that? Uh, and I want to talk to you MAGA folks. You know, we like you. We, we love our southern brothers. We love southern fried chicken. But what we need is we need, we need to join together and understand, you know, we... Yeah, we can't we can't stop the three dollar fifty cents a gallon gasoline, okay? And because gas is uh, natural gas, uh, not natural gas, but oil is very hard to find, okay? And it's going to just get more expensive. It's like gold; it's getting harder and harder to find. So we have to find alternatives, right? You know, I love diesel. You look in there; it's a big toolbox, right? I love diesel engines. I rebuild engines. I raced. I raced for years, right? So I have gasoline in my blood. I, I know I'm switching, you know, things, but we have to. Unfortunately, we have to advance. If you, I do have to electric cars. Uh, I went to electric really fast, not noisy, but very fast. But we can't drill, baby, drill, okay? Um, and to my, to my uh, other Republican brothers, we need that fuel. There's only thing that we need fuel for, unfortunately, are bombers and jet engines. And if we use up all our fuel, our precious fuel, we're not going to be a first world country because whoever has the fuel wins the game. Okay, because you can't fly a plane with batteries. Okay, um, and clean energy. It's very nice. Uh, and that's why I say if you go out of the country, you go to Hong Kong. Spend 10 days in Hong Kong. And I hate to say it, China and Mumbai. There's some Indian places, mm -hmm. right? When you come here, you appreciate the air. And you say, wow, catalytic converters really work. Electric cars really work. Yeah, there's going to be problems with batteries and things like that. But that's, you know, we, we, we overcome things. Uh, oh, by the way, Electric cars were built first, 1890, mm -hmm. okay, before the combustion engine. So to my, uh, to my Republican fans, we don't want to make you Democrats. We just want to, we want you to come and join us in a, in a clean discussion about how we get things done. I understand, you know, big F-350s, I'm a Ford guy, sorry Chevy guys. Uh, I like big diesels, like Cummings, okay? So I'm not saying we don't have these things, uh, also when it comes to guns, I think that's very important. I'm not against guns. I, I think uh, a lot of people are not against guns. We just need to get them out of kids' hands. We need to get them off the streets, get them out of the gangs. Um, our cops are having a hard time fighting these illegal guns because they're easy to get because a lot of them, and there's a lot of what I would call irresponsible gun owners. If you're a responsible gun owner, I'm for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep them locked up, ready to go, take them to the range. There's nothing wrong with that. Buy as much ammo as you can. Um, Democrats don't want to take guns away from people. That's not what it's about. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not Second Amendment people because Second Amendment is misunderstood. That's another story. Uh, it's your right and privilege to have a gun. Uh, and it's, it, believe me, if you read the, the Constitution in its entirety, the Constitution talks about guns in the Constitution. And then is an amendment, and it's a very different what you understand. But the thing is, it's a privilege like your driver's license. And, and I think you should keep that privilege. But we need to help people with guns and keep them off the street. Mom, 
I should be run for president. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think so. <laughs>